there. Um, what I'm showing you today, strictly for interest, is I purchased this at the Goodwill about three weeks ago. Uh, when I first saw it, I was like, I knew what it was. It's obviously a, a more modern Crosley type uh, record player combo. I don't like these at all. Um, I've had several in the past just to play with them. They're really badly built. It's This isn't normally the kind of thing that I would buy. But I liked the way it looked and I was curious about it. So I kind of took a closer look. And you can see it's got some uh, distress. It's been around the block a few times. I don't know how old it is. I, I think it's fairly recent because it's... And I'll show you in a minute, but, um, see, it's got the tested sticker on it and I paid $14 for it, which as usual, that would have been a stopping point for me other than the fact that you really can't buy anything at Goodwill anymore. That's not inexpensive. Um, even the cheapest crap that they have is, is $4 now, so. Anyway, I like the way it looked. I really do like the way the the radio uh, dials on the front. So I thought I'd give it a shot. But when I looked at it at the Goodwill, um, you can see the hinge is broken. Um, somebody obviously didn't bother to do that properly at some point. And just rip the hinge right out of there. I can fix that, but I just haven't gotten around to it. What I liked about this is the way it looks. Uh, that was the primary thing about this is the aesthetics on it. Um, I w didn't hold out a whole lot of hope for this. Because um, that just looks gimmicky and weird. But uh, I figured, what the heck. I do like the, the platter pad. It was kind of cool. And if you'll notice, I've got it powered up. It's actually got a little digital keyboard on here. Um, if you scroll through, it's got phono, CD, radio, auxiliary. And the auxiliary in this is right there. You see the little 3.8 millimeter auxiliary. Um, and most importantly to me at the time was Bluetooth. Now nowhere on this outside of this thing was it listed as having Bluetooth. I didn't know it had Bluetooth. I didn't know it had it when I bought it because I hadn't powered it up. And since it doesn't say anything anywhere on here that it has Bluetooth, I was pleasantly surprised. And, and the Bluetooth actually works pretty good. And I've been using it for Bluetooth uh, primarily. I did uh, verify that the record player works. As you can hear, the radio is kind of tragic. And the reason for that is because it doesn't have any kind of an external antenna on it. I think what they probably did was wrap uh, a lead around inside the case to use as the antenna and as bad as much trouble as we have around here getting FM, any kind of radio stations, it's not helping anything out. But I, I didn't buy it for the radio. Um, the CD player is located on the side and I'll show that to you. Actually, I think I have a CD in it. Let me see. There's a CD. Let's see what it does. Okay. Does it auto start? Yes. You can see the CD works. I did run a, a, a CD through it. Um, the fun thing is about the CD on this, and I'll show it to you when I get this thing rotated around. Um, 
there's a little CD player slot on the side, as you can see. And when I first looked at this, I thought this was, as big as it is, I thought this was a portable record player. If you'll notice, it doesn't have a latch to secure the cover. So that doesn't latch. And I thought that was a handle. And I was kind of picking at the CD door because it doesn't really look like a CD uh, tray door. It just looks like a handle. And I did that for about 10 seconds. And I'm like, wait a minute. So I stopped doing that. Um, everything I like about this is it's got a totally useless. You can see it in there. This is a record tray. Or, or the whole records. It's a... And it's got the platter mat uh, cover on it. Inside of here. Instructions that came with it, I guess. And it's also got... Ta-da, ta-da. I can get it out. Of course not. Bear with me here for a second. It's got the instruction book. It's a model VTA-800B. 501 turntable. So that was a plus. There's no date on the instruction book, so I can't tell from there. I don't know, maybe... Uh, 2016? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to put that back in there. And I'm going to put this back in here. I'm doing this out of tripod for right now, as usual. But... Interestingly enough, turntable mechanism is shock mounted which is cool because most Crosley portables do not have shock mounting this thing is just extraordinarily strange to me there's this it takes uh, 33, 45 and 78 so it does play 78 and on the control panel You've got the function button, which scrolls through the functions, obviously. Uh, program repeat, those are all for the CD. Um, you got a plus and minus, auxiliary and headphones. Um, what I'll do is I'll put a record on here, and you can hear what the record sounds like. I'm going to get a copyright strike, I always do, but uh, it's still playing the CD. So there's that, and let me go ahead and put a, a record on here, and I'll you know, put it on the tripod. Okay, I'm going to put a record on here. This is a discussion in percussion. I, I um, It basically has a lot of uh, percussion on it, obviously, and I was hoping it wouldn't catch a copyright strike, but... Now the way this works, this thing is bizarre.
you see that the arm actuates the the motor it's supposed to shut off when it reaches the end of the record but it doesn't and if you read the instructions which I think is kind of, the instructions say the record the motor is supposed to stop spinning when the turn the arm reaches the end of the record and then it says underneath that in parentheses but sometimes it doesn't <laughs> due to the, the record speed or whatever, but it, it doesn't do it at all, so I think that's hilarious. Anyway, you, you um, I showed you that. Um, like I said, the radio in this thing really sucks. It doesn't sound bad if you could pick up a station and every time I make a video around here I always have to use one of the the religious channels because you don't get a copyright warning from church music and I call it church music it's mostly um, Baptist and Christian but uh, they they must be really well healed because they sure put a lot of power out there's about three or four of them that just run over everything else around here I'm not even going to try to tune anything else in on that because I didn't get this for the radio. Um, and when I bought this, like I said, I didn't know it was Bluetooth. Nowhere on here does it say Bluetooth. Um, I was really surprised to see that was on there. But it's uh, it's large. Uh, that's what I like about it. And another thing I wanted to show you, I can't, can't see it real well, but it's got like a rubber dust cover around the bottom of this thing so when you set it up on your table i guess things don't get underneath underneath there like dirt and insects and crap i thought that was actually pretty good and this thing weighs 22 pounds so it's kind of heavy now the thing about this tone arm it's plastic but it's got quite a bit of weight to it which surprised me it was just really awkward because you have to kind of flip it up. Well, I've got it off of that now, but um, it takes a a red cartridge, which you can get anywhere pretty much now, since these things are so legion. But uh, I just thought you might be interested. I'm not going to turn this around and show you the back. All it's got on the back of it is. Um, the two jacks to run out to an amplifier. When you plug the jacks, the RCA jacks in the back and you go to an amplifier, it cuts everything out and just acts as a pass through. Um, I don't feel like getting an amplifier. I've got stuff, but I'd have to set it all up. I'm not sure I'm in the mood to do that right now, but uh, to give you an idea how, how big this is, that's the record cover. So, pretty large I mean it's a lot better than those little portable ones with the handles on them so okay I just wanted to show you this um, I'm gonna have to go ahead and take this off of here bend it back and then fill in these holes with wood uh, wood paste and then sink some screws back through there but uh, other than that, it's in halfway decent shape. It's even got the original dust on it, see? All right. Thank you. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Um, what I wanted to show you today is this Victrola 5-in-1 system that I bought at Goodwill about three weeks ago. Because I thought it was interesting. I, I like the aesthetics of it. Um, I don't normally buy stuff like this. But I saw this. It was on a bottom shelf. 
And they must have just put it out because things like this typically disappear almost immediately when they put them out. I'm sure any one of you that's been to a Goodwill or a Salvation Army or a thrift store knows that there's people that live in those places just waiting for stuff to get put out so they can buy it and flip it. Um, luckily, I was able to get hold of this before somebody go grabbed it up. But uh, I don't normally buy things like this. This is, uh, although this is a Victrola, it's still, to me, made by the same company that makes Crosley stuff. And we all know the quality of the Crosley stuff, mostly the tabletop record players and everything. Um, this kind of had a, an interesting aesthetic vibe to it for me. I like the, I like the radio knob on the front, and that's the first thing I saw. I'm going to go ahead and make a, a video about this just so you can, if you're thinking about buying something like this, at least you will get an idea that this this one's actually a little bit better than those um, those little portable record players they make. It's got um, it's got a radio, it's got a CD player, it's got a phonograph, it's got Bluetooth, auxiliary inputs, and one thing it does have around the back, which I thought was interesting, is you can plug this into a larger amplifier with your own speakers. And use the record player and the CD player with another unit so you don't have to depend on the power this thing generates. Although I was surprised to read in the book that this actually puts up 5 watts per channel. Now, I don't know whether it does 5 watts per channel, but still, that's pretty It's pretty impressive for something uh, of this type. Uh, I'm, I would be okay with 5 watts per channel. It, it is stereo, and it does actually have halfway decent stereo separation. Um, I was going to hook it up to an amplifier. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But I have used the Bluetooth feature. I, the CD player works. I've run a record on a couple of records on it, and I'll, I'll show you uh, what the record player sounds like. I did f film last night in the dark with my really crappy dollar store phone using it to um, stream into the auxiliary <laughs> don't ever buy it these use these phones that you buy at the dollar store I think I paid $25 for that five or six years ago and I had to because that was right after this big storm we had here and all the power was off and um, I wasn't able to charge my phone up but we finally did get hold of a generator, and when I hooked the phone up to the generator with the USB power supply, it smoked the battery. The battery literally swelled up so big, it popped the back off the cover. I'm surprised the phone didn't catch on fire. So I had to buy, had to buy this dollar store phone. And I'll show you, this is the phone that blew up. That's a Samsung Galaxy 6. And it, it literally popped the back off. You can still see. But, you know, I had this phone for a long time. And I went over to Samsung years ago and was okay with this phone until it blew up. And this is a Samsung. But um, I've had iPhones in the past. I'm going to go back to an iPhone here shortly. The only thing I like about this camera... The, the camera that's actually filming this is a Samsung. And it's got HD on it and four, uh, 4K. That's really the only reason I keep this phone. It doesn't work worth a damn. But, uh, another thing is I'm totally against Samsung now. I'm never going to buy another Samsung product in my life. I've had nothing but problems with them. Their stuff's turned into garbage. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, my wife made these. She's... Uh, she, Let's see, the crochets these, uh, it relaxes her, and we donate these to the the local um, Humane Society thrift store for them to sell for a couple of bucks. And uh, she really cranks these things out, but I just want to show you since it's coming up on Easter. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put a record on this, and I'll, 
I'll attach the footage with the rest of the stuff I've got. To report fraud, call us at 1-800-TELL-NICB. This is a public service message from the National Insurance Crime Bureau. Possibilities are all around us. Together, we can make real change happen. We're Rotary. We are people of action. Get involved today at rotary.org slash action. The team at Sipes Body and Glass is available for all of your vehicle's mechanical needs. Whether it's alignment, steering, or suspension work, brakes, air conditioning, even a simple oil change. From the team you know and trust, Sipes Body and Glass. Family owned and operated at the corner of 7th and J in Bedford. And at 812-279-5909. You're tuned to the one having fun. 90.1 W.